Okay, today I'm going to be desensitizing my atlas to me just walking toward his hindquarters. So here I'm going to start out in the middle. I'm going to click and then go ahead and feed him. So I'm just kind of gradually get closer to the hindquarters. Atlas has a habit of wanting to follow me. So I get a little bit further. So I'll click here and then go ahead and feed him. Um, he wants to follow me and I really want him to tell the difference between me just kind of going back toward his hindquarters. Here I'm a little bit further. I'll click and then go ahead and feed him. Um... And the difference between me just going back there to like pick out his foot, brush his tail, do whatever, go behind him, and then actually when I want him to lead. So this is just a little bit of desensitizing. And we're just kind of working in his pasture. I'm going to kind of speed up some parts of this video where I'm just like waiting for him to chew, which is boring. But okay, so back kind of three quarters of the way over there. I click to him and go ahead and feed him. So I'm clicking when he's standing relaxed and I'm in the position that I want to be. And then I'm just kind of hanging out in between while he's chewing kind of a little bit closer position. So here, this is what he usually does. He wants to kind of just back up and then turn and face me. So I'm just going to kind of not go as far back, but I'm going to stay a little bit behind his belly. So I'm going to click him again because he stood still and relaxed there. Um, I'm just going to hang out with him for a little bit and then ask him again. So I just want to kind of stay and kind of go with him and wait until he relaxes. So I went back there. You could tell he was a little bit worried about me being back there. His neck came up, but I went ahead and clicked him. And I just want him to know that being back there is what I want. I want him to stand still and relaxed while I stand next to his hindquarters. That's all I'm trying to do. So wait for him to chew, get a little bit further. Go ahead and click him there. I'm off camera, but... Oh, well, you can see my feet. Can I see where I'm at? So I had to cut out that part because I was way off camera. You couldn't see what I was doing at all. Um, so um, he was, um, he has moved since this. So I've been doing the same thing. I just cut it out because you couldn't see it. But I'm still doing the same thing. So he wants to back up. I'm just going to kind of stay where I'm at. And then I'm going to get a little bit further back. But I'm not going to like chase him around. I'm not going to keep walking quickly because then he's going to think I want him to yield his hindquarters there. He stood still while I walked toward his hindquarters. So I'm going to click him for that. So I don't want to do a lot of forward movement while he's trying to follow me because I don't want him to think that I'm yielding his hindquarters. I want it to be very specific. Like I can come back here while I'm standing straight. I'll click him here and go ahead and feed him. Um, and then the body language to yield the hindquarters is very different. I'm going to kind of bend at the waist and then look at his hindquarters and then kind of move my hand or my stick toward them. So I want it to be very specific. That's why when you're teaching that, you have to have a very specific cue or you're going to kind of run into this. And this is not caused by um, him not understanding it. It's just he's anticipating following me and he's a little worried about me being back there. So um, he does know the separate cue for that. But Atlas just seemed to have the hardest time with this. I don't think Castor really did. But Atlas likes to do that too. He thinks that sidestepping towards you is what he's supposed to do. And that's not correct. So go back. I'm just going to kind of ignore that. And then go ahead and go to his hindquarters and click and feed him. So that time I was in the correct position. That's where I wanted to be. Um, that was my goal from where I started. But I just kind of broke it down. And got a little closer to his hindquarters and clicked and fed and then built up from there. So now I can go all the way back to his tail. He ha he started out good, so now he's not really worried. He just thinks like, oh, maybe I should feed. So there, that was perfect. I went back there. He stood still. He His head was up a little bit. He was probably a little tense, but not too bad. So I'll go ahead and do that again. So you can see his neck was a lot more tense this time, but I got further back, so I'm going to end on that note. And this next clip is going to be um, from later on from the GoPro. So now I can go all the way behind him and click once I'm behind him and then go ahead and feed him. So this was on my helmet cam, so it's a little shaky, but it shows the progression really well without taking like the video taking forever to watch. So I can go all the way back past his hip to the back of his tail, and then I can click him and come back it up and he'll stand there and wait until I can come back and feed him so that's really the goal here and then obviously he does it on the other side and then you can add that to just going all the way around the horse and then feeding him on the other side so there I go click him while I was right straight behind him so he was nice and relaxed and that was the end version of that